In this video, you'll learn how to use a block plane. Block planes are used for planing end grain, beveling edges, and finishing joints. Its compact body can be held in many ways, enabling work on difficult surfaces. The tools and materials that you will need are a block plane, a pencil, a hammer, a piece of wood, and some scrap wood. The main parts of the plane are the body, the blade, and the knob. Block planes have a blade fixed at a low angle. You should be able to feel it half to one millimeter as you run your fingers across the mouth. If you are right-handed, hold the rear with your right hand and the knob with your left hand. You can also hold it with one hand. Extend the index finger onto the knob with your thumb on the left edge. To use a block plane, clamp a piece of wood in a vise. Be aware of the grain direction and work with it whenever possible. If the plane doesn't remove any shavings, adjust the plane blade iron with a hammer. The blade should not protrude too much. Rotate the wheel behind to adjust the depth of the cut. Apply more weight to the front of the plane than the back. Then transfer the weight as you complete the stroke. Take the weight off the plane and lift it when you come back. Make sure you reduce the weight towards the end Otherwise, you will dip and damage the workpiece. To plane a chamfer, mark it out with a pencil on both sides of the workpiece. Clamp the piece. You can hold the plane with one hand to chamfer. Try to establish the correct angle with the first two or three passes of the plane. If the chamfer runs off, correct it before you get any closer to the layout lines. Beginners generally have a tendency to shoot off the edge and splinter the wood. You can turn the work around or just plane it from the other direction. The block plane should be held at a slight angle to plane the end grain. Planing the end grain on multiple pieces can be challenging. Clamp the piece of wood side by side with the end grain facing upward. If the wood is narrow, you can keep a piece of waste wood on the side. You can now skim across both pieces of wood and ensure that the edge doesn't chip off. Instead of planing straight across, you can angle the plane and move it forward with a slicing motion. Once you are more or less done planing, Give the end grain a nice and smooth finish with lighter strokes. You have now learnt how to use a block plane.